Hey, buddy. You doing okay? Of course you are. Wish I could say the same for everyone else. Petra, how are you doing? You feeling any better? Better is relative. If I just sit here and don't move or breathe, it's almost bearable. Man, if it wasn't for Ivor, she wouldn't even be like this. Ah, no kidding. That's not exactly true. Ivor built the Wither, sure, but he couldn't have done it without that skull I gave him. If I'd just taken a second to think about it, all I cared about was getting that stupid diamond. There's no way you could have known what would happen. No one's ever seen anything like this. Still, I'm gonna do everything I can to make this right. Petra, I know this isn't easy to hear, but you're too sick to be going anywhere. I'm not that sick. Maybe you should rest in this cave for a while. I mean, it's safe, defensible. If I say I'm fine, then I'm <coughs> fine. If you try to keep going, I'm afraid you're not going to make it. No. No way. I'm not a quitter. We're not saying you are. I can do this, guys. You staying here is the right move. You'll never get better if we keep pushing you. But I want to be there for you guys. I know you do, and you will. Maybe you're right. It's the right call, Jesse. I hope so. Gravel? No. Dirt? I don't think so. Petra, you sure you're okay? I'm fine, Jesse. I just need to rest for a bit. Not gonna lie, but we've dealt with worse, right? Have we? How's it going? Tell me, Jesse, who is this person? She keeps insulting me. One minute I think I'm talking to a friend, the next I'm being made fun of. That right there is Eligard. Ellie to you. Eligard, hmm? And how do I know her exactly? I sense we have a history, but... I feel I need a little reminder. She's your friend. She's been your friend for a very long time. Really? Really? You go way back. It isn't working. He doesn't remember anything. Talk to him about your past. Something only you would know about. Hmm. Like what? We haven't seen each other for so long. I don't know what would even help. Talk about fighting the Ender Dragon. I don't think so. I told that story way too many times. Which is why it might help. Ah, <sighs> okay, fine. Ender Dragon, scariest thing alive, right? Well, for most of the battle, it looked like we were goners. But you know who finally slayed that beast? Um, uh, was it Jesse? What? No! It was you, Gabriel. You slayed it. Oh. Thank you for sharing that with me. And Jesse, thank you too. You've been a big help here. I, uh, I need to repay your kindness. I'm not sure how exactly, but I want to express my gratitude. It's no problem. I'd have done it for anyone. All the same, you have my thanks. Now then, tell me more about this Ender Dragon. Oh, I'm not even sure where to start. Leftover cobblestone might come in handy. Am I glad you came along? Just don't tell Reuben I said that, he might get jealous. Lucas, what are you doing? I told you. I'm going after my friends. 
I thought the other ocelots were dead, but if they're not, I need to go find them. Look, I am grateful to you guys for bringing me this far, but I can't leave them alone out there. Not with three wither storms raging. You're right, they do need you. The best way to help them is to help us beat that monster. That sounds right, but it just doesn't feel right, Jesse. But Lucas... Look, you and me, we've made a pretty good team so far. I'd even call us friends. So I hope you'll understand why I need to go help my old friends. They do it for me. Same way you'd go back for any of your friends. I can't believe I'm saying this, but if your heart's telling you to go, then you gotta go. Otherwise, you'd be heartless or something. <laughs> Thank you, Jesse. I'll find them. And then I'll find you again, too. I promise. Thanks. Understand? Yeah, I know you've run off before, but things are different now. We've lost too many people already. The world needs us, Reuben. So much of it has already been reduced to bedrock, and it's up to us to save the rest of it. Well, maybe that is a lot of pressure for just a person and a pig, but we have to find a way. things now. You say that like it's my fault. It is your fault. Oh, take responsibility for what, Soren? I did that by locking the command block away, so only you could use it. Ah, oh, do you still not realize how dangerous it is? Oh, the bitter irony. Soren the architect. I do not need lectures from you. That's debatable. Maybe you should leave, Ivor. If I do that, the world falls. Oh, 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 I forgot. You have a plan. Why am I even bothering? Soren, you need to listen to me. Oh, what good has ever come of that? Haven't you done enough, Ivor? Like, say, single-handedly destroying the entire world? Well, technically, I set in motion a series of events whose end result appears to it's be... It's the same thing! What you don't understand is, you are all in very grave danger. <laughs> Obviously! No, I mean specifically this group. The Witherstorm isn't acting randomly. It's following Gabriel. Gabriel? You see, I may have programmed it to follow his amulet. You mean the Order's amulet? Yes, Soren. That amulet. And the reason you didn't tell us that ages ago? Gabriel was gone. I didn't think it mattered. Right, except Gabriel gave the amulet to me. What? I... I didn't know. Ah, oh, Ivor, you fool. You've created a monster that's following Jesse, and it's only getting stronger. You don't think I realize that? Nothing can stop those things. Nothing even hurts them. Well... Except Enderman. Enderman? Jesse's right. The 
Withers' gaze passed over them, and they went wild. If I hadn't seen it with my own eyes... We actually just saw a bunch of Endermen pull blocks off a Witherstorm. So... So, enough of them working together might be able to destroy a Witherstorm entirely. It's a promising concept, at least in theory. If I'm seeing all the pieces correctly. Is that even possible? Yes. Yes, I, I think it might be. We'd simply need to get a large group of them into the storm's vicinity. In fact, there's probably more than enough of them still in my fortress. An unintended side effect of you flooding the end. This is just like the old days, Soren. You and your crazy ideas... Hush, Ivor, for once! Huh. Question is, how to bring the storms and the Endermen together? Endermen aren't pets. They don't follow orders. At least, not for mere mortals. The Witherstorms are already chasing us. If we just get them to chase us to your fortress again... Yes! Yes, that's it! They'll be caught between a rock and a hard place! If we can't bring the Endermen to the Witherstorms, we bring the Witherstorms to the Endermen. Just one problem. You're forgetting about the command block! Ugh, yes. It's clear now that no weapon can destroy it. Not even a Formidabomb. Actually, I may have a solution to that. You see, when I first took possession of the command block... You mean, stole it? Yes, well, I created a failsafe. A backup plan, for just in case. Well, I'd say just in case is here. Ivor, how could you keep this secret? Oh, believe you me, keeping secrets is easy. So I made something. An enchanting book. One that contains the power of the command block itself. Use it to enchant a weapon. And you'll be able to smash the command block to bits. Forever. Yes. Yes, that's it. It could very well solve all our problems. What are we waiting for? Let's go get that book. Just one problem. It's at my secret lab. Which is... Sort of far away. How far could it possibly be? Let's just say it's the farthest place a person can travel before being utterly... Oh dear, what was that? I can't believe it found us so quickly. It just keeps coming for us. Well, we can't stand around and wait for it. So what do we do? Guys, there's a reason it's been following us. Ivor says it's because of the amulet that Gabriel... Ivor? Well, I'll be. It is you. A pleasure, as always, Eligard. Hello. My name is Gabriel. Somebody pinch me. Anyway, Ivor's figured out the Witherstorms are drawn to the amulet, so we're going to lure them back to Soren's fortress and destroy the command block with an enchanted super weapon. You figured all that out just now? The point is we need to get moving. We aren't safe. Not as long as we have that amulet. I'll take it. You can't. I can, and I have to. But you could be killed. We all could, Olivia. There's no way I can let you do that, Axel. You don't understand. I'm not asking. I thought you'd trust me by now. You just go make that super weapon. I'll meet you back at Soren's fortress. Well, Axel shouldn't have to do this alone. I'm going with him. I appreciate that. Well, I'm going with Jesse. I pledge to help, and that's what I must do. But Lucas is out there all by himself. There's nothing you can do for him now. Guys, we need to go. Now. Hey, Jesse. Let's try our handshake again, just once for the road. The warrior's whip? You got it. See you at Soren's, all right? Not if I see you first.
we there yet? Almost there. yet. My rear end is profoundly sore. <sighs> Feels like we've been riding forever. I am telling you, we cannot go to the Far Lands. They're not just the edge of our world, but the limits of our comprehension. Oh, please. The Far Lands are a happy accident. Nature's way of keeping life interesting. No, no, no. They are perilous and unpredictable. Pearl in noise, floating points. These are not matters to be toyed with. Hold on, back up. What exactly are the Far Lands? Are you being serious? The far lands lie at the very edge of all things, where logic gives way to chaos. They're a dangerous place to visit, and a ridiculous place to construct a laboratory. <laughs> Just wait until you see it. Do those two never stop arguing? I don't know. I'm too hungry to care. No kidding. I'm starving. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Swamps are too dangerous. You never know what might be lurking around. What was that? My stomach. Let's look around, see what we could find out. We mustn't linger long. The Far Lands are just beyond this swamp. So this could be our last chance to find food? 